This is the all-new Camus C12, the older brother to the popular C5, and with a promised 12 Nm of torque for only $550, it's offering something nobody in sim racing has managed to do before. Chemists Chemist provided this unit to me for review, so in this video I'll be putting the C12 through the paces, telling y'all what I like, what I do not like, and whether this unique offering by Chemist could be for you. Keep in mind that a written version of this review along with an exclusive points rating can be found on my website, and if you are interested in purchasing, using code OCSIMRACING at checkout will give you an additional 5% off on the official Chemist store. Fully redesigned but with the same concept as the older C5, the Camus C12 integrates the direct drive motor onto the wheel rim itself, with a smaller optional desk clamp holding everything up. Many significant upgrades have been made on this new version. More than just increasing its torque capabilities, the entire wheel has been redesigned, giving the C12 a much more professional and clean look, especially compared to the controversial design of the C5. Notably, the size of this new wheel has been increased to 300mm and is now a completely round rim. On hand, its quality does feel very good. The rim is made from a synthetic leather material which feels of high quality and the stitching on the inside is also very nicely done. The metallic center plate is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but it gets overshadowed by the carbon fiber button module which brings a lot of functionality. On this, a total of 14 mappable buttons, 7 encoders, a funky switch, and a multifunctional display with RGB shift lights are found. Though the blue thumb encoders could use some more resistance, overall I found the quality of all the encoders and buttons to feel and sound very good, just take a listen for yourself. The ergonomics of this frame are okay, but could be slightly better. For starters, adding a slight groove where your hand rests would make it feel more comfortable, and increasing the space in between the rim and the thumb encoders would make it far easier to press down, that being something that is very hard to do with the current stock rim. I say stock frame because by removing this 6 bolts in the center cap, the entire wheel can actually be pulled out and swapped in for any third party rim with the same mounting pattern. Unfortunately, there appears to be something just slightly poking out from inside of the housing, meaning that unless you have a spacer or a wheel rim without a center cap laying flush with the rim, you won't be able to actually mount it. This seems like a big oversight by Camus and hopefully something that gets fixed in future units. All in all though, from just a design perspective, this has been a big step up from Camus and the large 300mm round wheel will provide loads of versatility, especially for those who are limited by the D-shape of the C5. Taking a look behind the wheel, here you'll find the magnetic carbon fiber paddle shifters and not the quick release system, but rather the entire direct drive motor. Starting with the paddle shifters, they are now larger, made of carbon fiber, and extremely clicky, just take a listen for yourself. From a feel and responsiveness perspective, they are very well made, although it wouldn't hurt to make them just a tad longer. Anyways, the 12Nm direct drive motor is housed in an entirely aluminum alloy casing and features a unique mounting system which is sold separately for $30 but isn't entirely necessary if you're using a cockpit or wheel stand. Back here you'll connect the power and USB cable as well as a small fan inside the mounting system which provides added cooling if you're using that. Now moving on to the on-track performance, there is a lot to uncover. Immediately, the 12Nm max torque of this wheelbase does become apparent. At this price range, I've never felt a wheelbase which can put out this much force and resistance, this being something that a lot of people value, especially when immersing themselves with older cars with no power steering, for example.
In terms of the on-track detail, feedback, and performance, in my opinion, I would say that it feels like what you're paying for. Although the wheel is quick to react and has a lot of torque, at the current stage it's at with its software, there is an almost stabbed feel to a lot of the effects which other higher-end wheelbases do manage to convey better. Small details like road texture, bumps, curbs, and similar effects don't feel as realistic here as I would like, and in that sense it almost gives off a slightly robotic and grainy feel which still gives off the actual feedback, it just doesn't feel as good as higher-end wheelbases at similar torque specs. Whether this is a limitation based off hardware or software, I can't really say. Though a large part of me wants to blame this on the software, as in its current stage, there just isn't nearly as much customization as you would find with competitors. Now, playing around with these settings for quite a while, I eventually got this wheelbase to feel commendable and respectable for the price tag it's asking, but I wouldn't say it stretches to the realism given off by more high-end wheelbases, and that of course does make sense. Worth noting is that several hours into use, the C12 still remained consistent and silent in operation, and under passionate use, it still remained perfectly rigid with no sort of flex. In my opinion, the greatest selling point to the C12 is for those on a tight budget who very much value the immersion given off by a strong wheel that you can fight against and really feel that kick to. However, for those who want the max in terms of detail, feedback, and on-track performance, the C12 does a good job for the price, but stretching your budget just a little bit more will get you further in this regard. Now with that said, I do feel very optimistic about the C12. The hardware from the leather rim to the carbon paddle shifters is of very high quality and I believe that if Camus invests just a little bit more into refining the software side of its performance, this could make for a simply unbeatable product, albeit it's just not quite there yet. So in conclusion, the Canvas C12 stands out as a formidable contender in the simmering market, particularly for those seeking robust performance without breaking the bank. Its combination of a high quality build, significant torque output, and potential for software improvements offers a compelling package for mid-range sim racers. While it may not yet match the nuanced feedback of higher-end models, its current capabilities and price point make it a valuable option for both newcomers and seasoned enthusiasts looking for an upgrade. So in my opinion, with further refinement, the C12 could indeed redefine expectations for budget-friendly sim racing, and ultimately that's a great thing for all of us. It's for this reason that I'll be keeping my C12 and revisiting it in a few months' time. So this has been my review on the Camus C12. Let me know your thoughts on this product down in the comments below and as always thank you all for watching stay safe and have a fantastic rest of your day